So this is the wonderful uh, replica telescope that our colleague Michael Tabb made uh, for the opening of the museum. Michael sadly died uh, very recently, but this is one of the museum's um, objects of, of great, uh, of great uh, esteem and joy. And it is a very good way of illustrating the way Herschel worked. He was a very systematic man, and he worked systematically with his observing. He's built this telescope, as you can see on the wooden frame. It's a basic Newtonian style reflector mirror, specular mirror back here, and diagonal up here, and so on. Um, but the mount is, uh, is, is, is an antazimuth one, and it's basically designed so you can move things up and down a bit, and from side to side a bit. But it's very clearly designed to look at a particular part of the sky, and that's what William did. He used to do what he called his sweeps. He would examine a particular part of the sky very thoroughly um, for an evening and do that night after night when he could. And he was doing one of those sweeps when he saw this fuzzy blob that he did not, did not recognize in the constellation of Gemini. And he called this place and looked again a few nights later and saw it had moved. He reported this and that began a long process, but that was what the discovery of Uranus turned out to be this fuzzy blob that, that, that William found in his garden. And he found it when Uranus happened to be very high in the sky. And some people said afterwards he was lucky to have happened across Uranus because, you no, know, it just by, 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 by sheer chance. He said he was so thorough in uh, doing his sweeps that he would have found it at some point. That's true, but Uranus takes a long time to get around the sun, so he was lucky in his timing. And Uranus, as it happened, was very high in the sky at the discovery date of March 1781, so it was well placed. So William was a fortunate man in that he made this discovery. But what he was very good was making good use of his fortune. He was very socially adept at seeing what he could take with the opportunities he had, and he took full use of them in his later career.